Hello everybody, this is uh, Badri. We are now going to do the third grade STEM experiment. This is Life Catches the Wind. The kit parts are shown right here. So you're gonna have a milk carton. The carton has a special notch already drilled into it, going both ways. You're gonna have uh, wooden sticks that can be used as the axis of the windmill. And you're gonna essentially have a whole bunch of other supplies such as regular paper, foam paper, and so on. And this is what we have to build our windmill. And the way in general you wanna think about is here is the axis of the windmill. We're gonna take the axis and thread it through right about there, which should um, take you to the other end of the windmill. And I mean, all of this you're not going to instruct the kids to do, but they should be able to figure it out by themselves. And there is the windmill, uh, or at least the weight-bearing portion of the windmill. And here is a foam ball. The question is, how do you make the blades? So the concept is pretty simple. The kids will take, uh, you know, either the foam or the paper. You can cut the blades into any shape or size you want. Some kids may say, I don't even want a blade. I want to stick a cup to the end of a piece of foam, and that is my blade, which is fine. What they are then going to do is attach the blade, which may be a small portion of this or the entire sheet, attach two, three, four, how many ever the blades they want to do around here, and use the foam ball as a way to prevent the blades from falling off. So the finished product will look something like this. Pieces of foam holding together cups or just pieces of foam or pieces of paper. There is no limit to imagination here. And we will then use a fan, not unlike this fan right here, to blow on the windmill. And the impact of the wind over here should make the fans turn which will make this rotate and it should lift the cup up if the cup itself lifts up we may have weights that we want to put in the cup to see if it can bear weight the concepts here to understand for the kids is really number one does it matter what kind of paper they use the weight of the blade what shape they ought to use does it matter if they have additional things in order to capture the force of the wind? And there is no perfect answer. They certainly aren't going to get a perfectly functioning windmill out of this. The point is to experiment and understand what works and what does not. And that is the third grade Life Catches the Wind experiment. Thank you.